of food therapy. So it's Christmas time, time to party. Most importantly, it's time to eat. Uh, for me, the holiday is all about food. So today, as you can see, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I have my party uh, Christmas shirt on. <laughs> today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two, well, two uh, traditional Christmas classics. I'm going to be making a traditional eggnog. You can add alcohol if you want, but I'm not. Then I'm going to use that eggnog. I'm going to make a nice, sweet bread pudding. This bread pudding is going to be topped with a nice chocolate drizzle. And also I'm gonna to toss in some fresh cranberries so it's gonna have a little bit of a tart bite to it. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna show you guys what you need for the eggnog. We're gonna put it together. You're gonna to be so surprised how easy this is to make. So this is what you need. You'll need six large eggs, two cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream, one cup of sugar. Now for the spices, these are optional, but I'm gonna add in some ground cloves, ground nutmeg, and ground cinnamon. So the first thing you want to do is take your six eggs and separate them. You want to put the egg yolks in one bowl and the egg whites in the other. The reason is because you're going to use the egg whites to uh, fluff them up and put them inside the eggnog right before you serve it. It's going to make it, make it light and frothy. And as you can see, I'm putting the egg yolks and the whites in the wrong size bowl. So <laughs> I'm going to have to switch it once I get done cracking the eggs. All right, so my eggs are separated. So I'm going to put my whites in a separate bowl because I need the big bowl to mix everything in. And it's okay if the, if the yolk is in there, you know, inside the bowl. It's perfectly fine. It's going to the same place. So putting my yolks back in the big bowl. All right, so have those in there. I'm then going to take my egg whites and I'm going to put them in the fridge. I'm going to, again, I'm going to froth these up. Well, I'm going to beat them up. I'm going to fold them into the eggnog right before I serve it. So to my egg, I'm going to first beat in my sugar. And you want to whisk it until it has the consistency of a, like a really light yellow lemony color. Your best tools are your hands, right? All right, I had to take a break because that's a lot of beating the eggs up. So breaks over, back to it. All right, eggs to beat. I'm gonna then add in my heavy cream and my milk. So half a teaspoon ground cloves, half a teaspoon ground nutmeg, and half a teaspoon ground cinnamon. And stir, stir, stir. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up of how the eggnog uh, looks when it's nice and frothy. Spices on top. It's very beautiful and it smells awesome. So to finish this off, I'm gonna strain it. So, so I'm gonna get another bowl. I'm just gonna pour it in to make sure I get all those clumps and lumps out. I'm gonna have a smooth eggnog. I'm gonna have a lumpy eggnog. This is already chilled, so you can put it in the fridge up to uh, 24 hours or you can serve it right away. But remember, I'm gonna put this in a bread pudding. All right, so the eggnog is in the fridge, so now it's time to make this delicious, sweet bread pudding. So again, I'm gonna show you guys what you'll need, and then I'm gonna put it together and make more magic. Delicious magic, because regular magic you can't eat, but this kind of magic? You first need one loaf of Italian day-old bread, two cups of whole milk, and one half cup of heavy cream one half cup of sugar, one stick or one half cup of unsalted butter, one half cup of fresh or frozen cranberries, six eggs, one teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one dash of salt. All right, so step one into making this easy yet delicious bread pudding is to simply put everything but the cranberries and the bread into a bowl we're going to mix it together and then we're going to toss it on the stove.
All right, so make sure your pan is preheated to medium high. And then again, we're gonna wait for it to get warm. I'm gonna toss in our egg. I'm gonna to toss in our egg, milk, and cream mixture. I'm gonna bring it to a light simmer. Remember, do not let this boil you or it will scramble your eggs. So again, put it in your pan, bring it to a light simmer. You'll know when it starts to simmer when the bubbles form around the edges. And I'll show you that when you get to that point. So as you can see, my butter has now started to melt. I'm gonna now add in my milk mixture. Remember guys, stir it constantly. Just bring it to a low simmer. And again, you'll know when it starts to simmer, when bubbles form around the edges. And you'll see again, once it gets to that point, when it's ready to remove from the heat. All right guys, so I have a confession. I forgot to add the eggnog, but it's not too late. So while your mixture's on the stove, add in one half cup, I'm sorry, a cup and a half of the eggnog we made earlier. All right, so as you can see, the milk mixture has come to a boil. I did add the eggnog that I forgot to add at first, so no difference, we're still good, no worries. We still, we still got it, we're still on track. So as you can see, there are steam coming from the pot, but there's also the bubbles around the edges that I told you about earlier. That means we have the mixture at the temperature we need it to be. So at this point, you're gonna take it from the heat, and we're gonna go over and add it to our bread and finish this up. All right, so we have our warm milk mixture and we have our bread. And this part is gonna be really difficult. So be careful, watch this. That was so hard. We'll go ahead and toss in our cranberries. And then give it a quick toss. Just make sure everything is fully incorporated. If you have to, mash the bread down. All right, so we have this well mixed. I'm gonna set it aside and let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. All right, so I have a, this is a four quart, four quart pan. So I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and just simply rub my butter with the pan. Your hands are your best tools. Another difficult part, tossing it in. Just want to show y'all that I am a very talented cook because I'm filming this video, but I'm also cooking dinner for my mom. She wants to stop by and pick it up and then go home. The, the other meatballs are cooking away, and then these are her eggs that are boiling for the other eggs. All right, so while my bread pudding is cooling down, I'm gonna make the sauce. As you'll need two teaspoons of butter, one cup or eight ounces of white chocolate, and then one half cup of heavy cream. Simply put, put this in a saucepan, bring it to a light simmer. Remember, do not boil, it will burn and start to coagulate in your heart and just, you have to start all over. So put everything in your pot, bring it to a light boil, well, I'm sorry, light simmer. And this is going to be the nice sauce we're gonna put over our warm bread pudding. All right guys, so our sauce is done. Right now, it looks a little bit thin and a little bit runny, but that's okay. You wanna let it cool down for another maybe five to 10 minutes and it's gonna thicken up. I'm gonna show you guys the cool and creative fun way I'm gonna serve this eggnog. So remember those egg whites I told you to set aside and put in your fridge for later? I'm gonna grab a hand mixer. I'm gonna whip those up to a nice firm peak and then I'm gonna fold them in to the eggnog. <laughs> grab a chocolate bar I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so just to get it soft and you see the texture of it is kind of runny enough so it's cool all I'm gonna do is take the chocolate the spoon a good little bit into the cup now I'm basically going to Swivel the cup and just kind of get the chocolate all around the glass. But I don't want to cheat, so when I grab the spoon, just go around it like that. There we go. Yeah. All right. See, pretty right. 
You can take the other one, do the same thing. Now if you want, you could put these in the freezer for maybe five minutes or so. The chocolate will get hard, but the eggnog is cold, so it's gonna kind of, not freeze, but kind of get hard enough instantly where it doesn't melt. And as you're drinking your eggnog, you're gonna have a little hint of chocolate in addition to the cinnamon and the cloves and the uh, uh, nutmeg, I'm sorry. So it's gonna be really, just a flavor party in your mouth. All right, so chocolate is in the cup. So we'll move this out of the way. And then I'm just going to get the eggnog and put it in the glass. Just gonna basically scoop it in. Just ladle it right into the glass. And again, remember, because this is cold, the chocolate is gonna kind of harden. So you don't have to worry about it running over or running down the glass. So just to make it look, just to make it look pretty, I'm gonna grab some decorations. Fresh cinnamon sticks. If I can get it open. Okay. The cinnamon sticks, I'm putting them right in the glass. There you have it, the best eggnog ever. So look at how delicious this looks. See the cranberries, brushed open and colored the bread pudding on the inside. Right, so I'm gonna take some of this delicious chocolate sauce and just drizzle it over. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, this is probably the best bread pudding and eggnog you ever made or had in your life. All right guys, so as you can see, we just made one of the best desserts and drinks that can be made ever around the holidays. I want to thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please like this video, leave any comments, leave some thumbs up if you can. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you are having recipes you want me to try out for you, please let me know. Yeah, thank you. I want to take this awesome drink. Matter of fact, I'm going to just dig in right now because this is honestly really good. It's like a, a, a white chocolate vanilla milk with cinnamon and it gives you a uh, egg froth mustache this bread pudding is just delicious I don't have a fork but I'm gonna just dig in with my hand because I'm that way I'm a guy this is good so it's really good all right so I have to go so I'll see y'all next time later